Wolfarg, 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 Wolfarg. Ten more gifted. You guys are nuts, dude. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Thank you guys so much for the love. Honestly, like, I can't even... It's hard for me to be, like, shocked because Wolfarg just comes in here. He does that. He's the king, man. And Dan is the king, too. Dan is... Dan has been a lord this whole time. The fact that he was pushing it like that is crazy. 80 hours we've put into this? Yucky, yucky, yucky. Yucky, 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 chat. Who wants to gamble, chat? Is it gambling time? Are we gambling? All right, we're starting it. We're starting a prediction. Will I level up in this stream? Now I end my stream, I'll tell you this before you vote, I end my stream at nine o'clock. Two hours, I have two hours chat. I have two hours and I have 8,000 XP to get. <laughs> a lot of no's. A lot of yeses too though. What if time ends mid battle? What? Time only ends when I stop the stream. And chat, yeah, did you see that on my Twitter? Go follow me on Twitter, at your butt Tevin. Uh, I finally found the video where they said, somebody sucked that baby's dick. I found it. So it does exist. And it's not me that said it. I feel like the rich new kid who just bought himself some nice, some friends since he's new. I mean, you did, Wolfar, you did show up in here and you just blasted subs from the damn heavens. So, you know, honestly true. It's cause you're cute. Hey, does this green screen make me look more attractive? Be honest. You said I look way better. Yeah, but I didn't believe you. I can't look more attractive. Come on now. Congrats, Tevin, on the 50k big homie. You better be windmilling by the end of 2021. Windmill by 2021? I feel like that's possible. I'd have to drop, dude. I'm the heaviest I've ever been, which is crazy because I don't look that heavy. But I see all this cheek fat and I'm like, nah, man, I can't do it. I can't do it. Windmill by 2021 or windmill in 2021. That's doable. I got you Embarrassing to say but I'm a Knicks fan. Ah, oh, deuce. That is embarrassing. You shouldn't have said that <laughs> Take it back. Delete it. Delete the message <laughs> Sonic says P after sex What's the worst fighting game I've ever played melty blood that shit is not fair. I quit playing I quit playing that shit instantaneously. I was so mad I played Melty Blood and I got my shit rocked and I was like, I'm never playing this fucking game again. It's worse than Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You get hit from like shit that don't even make sense. I only played it because someone was asking me to play like try other fighting games. Boy, I put that thing on and they were just whooping the shit out of me. Never play with pro players. Never play with pro fighting game players when you're new at the game because they're just going to stomp on you and they think that shit's funny. Who would win in a fight to the death, Jimmy Neutron or Dexter? Dexter, because he has the ability to kill. Jimmy Neutron, eh. <laughs> Neutron doesn't have killer instinct. That's so funny. Bugs Bunny or Mickey Mouse? Bugs Bunny stayed killing people. <laughs> What characters in Space Jam could I dunk on? None of them. Do you, have you seen them? Maybe the little mouse. The, I always like basketball. I want to play basketball when I was younger. <laughs> the white dude. Oh yeah, the fat one. Yeah, maybe. A hunter gifted to have my whole hair gone, my guy? I don't know. My head looks like a fucking egg. Dye my hair like ninja for 100 subs? You know what? If we can, if I get to a thousand subs chat, I'll dye my hair whatever color you guys want. Honestly, 10 more streams till level 99, I think. Zazu, you have no idea how this works. This is gonna be hundreds of hours. And it's gonna take me about 200 more hours to get it. How many subs for the Kawakami cosplay? There's actually a uh, channel point reward. If you guys win enough bets, if you guys win enough bets, you'll get the cosplay reward. I beat the Goofy out of every Persona 5 character. True. I don't think there's any Persona 5 character that can beat my ass. A Y? Yep, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. A Y would probably beat me up. Oh, and Kamoshida. Thick ass chin. He probably, he probably, he probably do one of these. The nigga chin! <laughs> the nigga!
Pikachin! What's the best anime intro? Apparently, we we did a tier list, and the response that we got was Code Geass. The best anime character, in your opinion? <sighs> Man. Dude. Okay, so recently, there have been anime characters that, like, have blown my expectations for characters. Gato or Goto, the one from Jujutsu Kaisen, he's hard as shit. Uh, Osamu Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs, crazy. Aomine, Aomine, love Aomine. So there, are, there are characters where you just, like, you just go, like, oh, these niggas are hard, huh? Like, whoa, like, they're way better. Like, they're just, they're on another level. My most hated character is Makoto. See, at first I really liked Makoto's story because it was like, it seemed the most reasonable for Joker's character to like her and help her in that way. But the more that I played the game, I was like, no teenager is this fucking stupid. Like every woman in Persona 5 is so, it seems like every, not even just every woman, but damn near every character seems clueless. I talked about this before, but like they like getting their hand held through everything. They're like, Joker, why do I have all these problems? And you're like, because you have problems. And they're like, whoa, I didn't realize I had problems. And it's like, you stupid bitch. Like, how did you grow up like this? How did you live like this before? That's the problem with like playing a game too many times is that you start getting really critical about it. Like originally, when I played the game, I had like the same viewpoints where I was like, man, every character is so fleshed out and they're so cool and I like all of them and I want to f fuck one of them. But as you play the game, you're just like, what am I doing? <laughs> never play, never play a game you love more than like five times, chat. <laughs> cause you're gonna, cause you're gonna end up just, you, you're gonna be so critical about it. You're gonna start nitpicking shit and hate it. Don't become senile and old like me. I've played Skyrim more than five times and I still like it. Play it all the way through, Trevor. Like play play it to the point where you you like damn near 100% it. So play like 80, 90 hours of Skyrim and then do it over and over again, like nonstop. And you'll start to, you'll start to see the cracks. Chad, I've played more than a thousand hours of Persona. I think I'm well on my way to 4,000 hours. What's the plan when we get to level 99? Beat. Kamoshida and then quit because I've spent 300 hours of my life on it. Dude, if Persona 6 came out tomorrow, I probably wouldn't touch it. The burnout is like so serious. This is the only thing I can tolerate. You guys have seen me try to do other challenge runs on the on the on stream. You know what I mean? I get bored. Damn, we're still in the burnout phase. I was never not in the burnout phase. There are times where I can tolerate it and there are times where I, I can't tolerate it. That's it. I could play this, I could never play this game again and probably still be burnt out forever. If I see Persona shit on Twitter, I get angry. <laughs> it's that bad. I was watching uh, Hassan. Yeah, I was watching Hassan and uh, he was like, I don't know what games to play. And someone was like, play Persona 5 and I got pissed off. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Man Pavloved himself to be a Persona hater. Basically, that's what happened. That's basically what happened. I, I I warped my own psychology. That's what makes you a personality. You look at the game differently from most others. Maybe. Could be that I'm built differently. I'm differently built. It's like I, I play Pokemon and I, I've been having a lot of fun with that. I am having a lot of fun with Pokemon. Like, I really do enjoy it. I didn't think I would. I thought I'd be like, kids game, whatever. But I have a lot of fun playing Pokemon. But uh, with this, yeah, it's it's taking its toll. What did your parents say when you got your first big check from YouTube? Nothing. My dad thinks it's cool that I do this, but like he, my mom still doesn't think it's feasible. This month I've made more money than any other job I've ever had. She still does not like, think that I sh can do this long term she doesn't understand it the hardest game I've played people ask me this all the time and I never know how to answer it there's never been a game that's like been truly difficult maybe Sekiro I cannot save that little boy in Sekiro <laughs> true same like I played hella Dark Souls I used to do challenge runs in that too and I I got to the monkey and I was like dude I'm gonna have to stop this shit is hard Fucking bitch damn it I hate these guys too hard. 
I have heard whole lot of red. Metamorphosis is like the only good song on there. Whole lot of ass. <laughs> you guys didn't like whole lot of red? Mm. I pop these knuckles. Captain Knuckles. Actually, that might be the hardest cartoon. Flapjack and Chowder? Boy. Best cartoon? There you go. My favorite part is when he, he's... <laughs> They they had the they had the map piece for Candy Island, and it was that X. And <laughs> they thought it was a they thought it was a plus, but it was an X for the Candy Island spot. And Flapjack tore it up, and Cap Knuckles was like, "Why did you tear up the X? Or why did you tear up the plus?" And he and Flapjack Flapjack said. I subtracted the plus that divided our friendship so it could multiply. <laughs> I thought it was so fucking funny. What is your opinion on the fall of Constantinople in 1453 by the Ottoman forces led by Mehmed II? If I remember correctly, that became Istanbul. Is that... It, when Constantinople... I'm pretty sure the Ottoman Empire was like one of the, the fucking wonders of the world at the time. They fell in 1453. Who did they lose to? I can't remember. There's so much history, you guys. Uh, my like brain gets scrambled thinking about it. Justice League? The Justice League cartoon was goaded. Dude, do you guys remember that? Okay, who all saw the Justice League cartoon? Because there's this one episode that freaked me the fuck out. And I need to talk about it. Because it was like one... It was like one... It was just this one episode that fucked me up. There's an episode where this dude with like a fucking huge, he was mutated and he had a huge brain. He like warped the war. It was like a two part episode of Justice League. And he like warped the entire world so that the Justice League was caught in it and they didn't know anything about it. And it was so, it was nasty. Like he ended up revealing himself at the end and it was so Disc and he had a huge penis. Yeah, it's fat fucking cock. No, it was just so weird and it freaked me out. And it was so scary. Like when they found out about him and they saw what he looked like, it was disgusting. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I'm looking at I'm looking at every episode, chat. Every episode. No, it's not Brainiac. It the dude was creepy looking. Like his his like he had like a fucked up it, it was like a fucked up hand and his fucking big ass head was like leaning over the side and he was like <laughs> and I was like oh what is this I think it's Ray Thompson is it Ray Thompson dude you guys got me looking up so many fucking things it is it is it is that's it it's Ray Thompson dude look look and he's, his voice was so nasty. Thank you so much for solving that for me, dude. That was going to bother me for the rest of my life. You guys helped me unlock a memory, chat. You guys helped me unlock a memory.